I used to think that journaling was a weird and useless thing to do, considering the arrogant little kid that I was. I had no purpose, I had no idea what I would do or who I would be in life. But as soon as I graduated high school and I turned 18, everything changed. I now had so much free time, so I knew I had to spend it wisely. So that's when I started reading books, getting into e-commerce businesses, and practicing good habits like journaling and meditating. That's when it started. Book 1. Chapter 1. Saturday, December 3rd, 2022. Before I read my first entry, just please note that I'm not here just to embarrass myself. I'm here to show you the real hard proof that this one habit changed my life. So here are my first words. I start my journal. I reckon journals are pretty gay. <laughs> but I've heard from other people online that it's good for you or something. I don't know. It's a harmless activity and habit, so that's why I started. This was originally written on my computer notes because I don't have a journal book at home. It's almost 11pm right now and I'm low-key not sleepy at all because of the caffeine I took earlier. I also started reading, which is good. also started a social media marketing business with my friend, which is also good. He's pretty lazy though, I gotta keep telling him to do the work like I'm the boss or something. We haven't even talked about our split yet. We haven't even gotten our first client yet. But I have this sort of gut feeling that this agency will do decently well. Or I'm just delusional. Anyways, I started being more productive in my daily life ever since school finished. No surprise. And I'm glad that I'm trying to better myself. Although I sometimes see myself lacking in certain shit. Like scrolling through TikTok, installing Snapchat. And shit, that's not productive. It just makes me feel like a donkey. Like, WTF, what are you doing, bro? Get grinding. But it's okay. Right now, I'm hoping I stay focused with all my tasks and goals, which include starting a new dropshipping brand. <laughs> For fuck's sakes, this is the fourth shop that I'm starting, and all the products that I saved and have in mind are so dog poop. I mean, 85% of dropshipping products are shit anyways. It's just a matter of being smart and influential to be able to trick the bots of TikTok <laughs> to visit your shitty Shopify store and <laughs> press the buy button. <laughs> but luckily I'm not a dude who gives up that easily. Anyways, besides my e-commerce brand, my reading and cardio habits are really helping me out. First off, I discovered that reading is actually pretty fucking cool, and that it's one of the best time-consuming activities that anyone can do. I'm very happy that I found a new habit slash hobby to spend my free time on, especially now that I'm on a long break. I just realized that I'm venting all this shit that happened in the past month. I low-key hope that this new journaling thing teaches me some other eye-opening lesson or not, because at the end of the day, I'm always down to learn or experience something new every day. Now, fast forward two weeks, this is what I wrote for the 31st of December of 2022. Saturday, December 31st. All the blessings this year, 2022, has given us. There's been many, many ups and downs, happy, sad, depressing, uplifting, great and unforgettable experiences and memories. I'm eternally thankful to have spent this year with all my beloved friends and family, old and new. But especially, I am proud of myself. I thank myself for never giving up, for never letting anything or anyone put me down or break me. Although I have failed, fell and lost numerous of times, I'm grateful to have learned from my mistakes and losses. I've turned into a completely different person ever since last December. This is only the beginning. I'll continue to grind, hustle, and work towards a better life and accomplishments. I hope 2023 brings more experiences and people into my life and continue to shape and form me into the man I wish to become. I pray for many blessings for me and my loved ones. God bless always. Happy New Year. So after that, 2023 began, the year when I started my e-commerce brand and started studying at university. So now I'm going to pick a random journal entry from my second book. Alright, here it is. June uh, 20th, 2023. Did some more editing today. Most of the day spent at home again. Had a quick boxing workout after waking up. Worked on my defense and head movement for like the first time. It was actually fun. But when I did my pool workout today, I could barely do 10 pull-ups. My strength is actually gone. WTF. Wrote my new workout plan for the mini bulk in a couple of weeks. Looking hard but doable. Need to gain my discipline back. If I can only stay 30 days without doing any bad habits slash relapsing, that would be a great start 
and giving me tons of momentum. Maybe it's time for another monk mode. Anyways, did some more business work in the afternoon and now waiting for my 7.30 shift tonight. So that was a random entry from June of 2023. Now I'm going to find an entry that I wrote on my third book. Now I wrote this on July 15th and I wrote a ton of pages venting about a really big struggle that I was going through at the time. It's very, very personal and sensitive to me, so I'll try to read as much as I can. I'm going to write an issue that I've been dealing with for a very long time. Lust is something that almost all people would have to deal with at least once in their lifetime. Some get over it. Some get addicted, then get over it. Some get addicted, and then it rules over their lives. It controls them. It often starts in the puberty stages. 12 to 15 years old is when I started to become more tempted by the desires of lust. It's a pretty sensitive topic for me to write down, yet talk about with people. I've never spoke or said a word about this issue. Today, that changes. For the past few months, or a year I should say, my bad habits have gotten far worse than before, which is why I'm writing this now. I've had enough. I've tried to discipline myself with different solutions and self-control tactics, but none of them ever worked out, because here I am. Before I continue, let's run it back to when I was in year five and year six. I started beating the chicken as a young teen who had no idea what sex was. I just felt the desire for women take over. I'll consider it normal for this generation of kids, especially in today's world. Everyone has this stage and goes through it, no doubt. After a while, heading into high school, porn became a thing. From one video to the next, me and my friends viewed it as a cultural sort of thing. I think we all knew that we shared that experience, and all of us watched it, at least once, or regularly. I've talked with the most innocent people in my classes, and they themselves are victims of this virus. I was shocked because it was such a normal thing that went around in my school. This changed my mindset and view towards lust. As the years go by, crushes here and there, the fapping doesn't get any better. At all. It gets worse. Worse to the point that I have multiple and multiple tabs of videos and pages open in my private browser. Worse to the point where I was just watching it regularly on my phone in my room. I kept tabs in my private browser hidden for later. It was crazy, and that's not the worst of it. Yet. As the rabbit hole grows deeper, I notice some people have the same slash similar issues. Not just me or my friends, but boys and men like me around the world. We all know it's horrible. Anyways, through time, my habit became an addiction. Until the senior years of high school. It started getting better. Fapping less and less as I got... Fapping got less and less as I got busier with studies, friends, and new relationships. And of course, working out became a thing in 2022. It helped a lot. Dieting, no junk food, exercising, going out, socializing, etc. helped a lot to tame my habit, or replace it. But it was still there. One day I would relapse, then another, then another. It became a game of ups and downs. I started telling myself that enough is enough and I wanted to quit. I tried logging each day that I didn't relapse, writing down goals in my phone's notes, I remember it used to be tick boxes starting from 1 and onwards. I would have a start date on the top. But of course, this didn't last. That date kept changing as I kept relapsing and relapsing. Until I just gave up. Porn, fapping and lust was just a part of my life now. And I had accepted it and moved on. Moved on with the daily life, studies, friends, etc. Until high school ended. Until I graduated. I started talking to more girls. I was at that stage. The next parts are pretty personal, so I'm going to skip that. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing with life. High school exams just finished, along with all my high school stress. I just graduated and had my formal. I was a clueless monkey. I had that YOLO mindset that most of the kids had when they head out of school and are free. Didn't know my plan for uni or the future, and didn't care. Then came another girl. We started talking and etc. But soon after we stopped talking and I started getting momentum from there. My life changed. I flipped the switch and went all in into hustle mode. Business, reading books, working out, studying, self-education, meditating and more. I started getting to know more about myself and began my self-discovery journey 
as well as my road to success and financial freedom. Then university hit. I became busier and busier as uni and my business, Mizushi, started growing more and more. It wasn't until April when I started questioning my whole role and purpose in uni. I couldn't see my future as a mechanical engineer, which was my course, by the way. Seriously, I was so scared to even think about dropping out. Until one of my uni friends talked to me about it. He was an absolute G. One night, we had a long discussion on the way home from uni, talking about our future and our purpose. He wanted to be a mechanical engineer, a perfect a top tier committed student chasing his dream, a perfect image of what I thought I was going to be. He gave me advice to decide where I wanted to go from here, to talk to my parents about dropping out and pursuing other things like business, and I did. Eventually, I decided to not drop out and instead move me to another university course, business, something I would be interested in. I lost the plot. Around that time, I came back to the second girl from December, and this was also the time I was down bad. This became a new rabbit hole, the deepest one so far. I would download plenty of dating apps throughout the day just to talk to girls, and it was unbelievable. I would re-download these apps every week, relapsing after telling myself that that's enough, and no more. But it never worked out. This might be far worse than my porn experience. Now that that's written, after April and May passed by, and my business started booming, it got better. Sometimes. Relapses here and there, every once in a while. I was addicted to the rush of swiping, texting, and fapping. Like a wild fucking monkey. I was pissed. Every time. Literally frustrated because I consciously knew that every time I would relapse and re-download these apps, I would do it deliberately. I knew the results. I knew the regret and the shame after every fap, after every girl, after every video. And now, here we are. Present day. No solutions and no happy ending. I'm beyond disappointed in myself. I know that I can fight this battle, but every time I choose not to. I've come to figure out that it might be because I'm lonely. Just a scared boy looking for love and human connection. To feel something. I don't know anymore. Dead ass. I literally do not know. Although I'm busy with business, hustling, reading, working out, friends, family and others, I still have these demons in my closet. Voices in my head telling me to go back. Back to the bad habits. Back to the porn, the videos, the dating apps, a never ending loop that I'm trapped in. I try to get closer to God. I pray every single night. With guilt and shame at the back of my head. I couldn't own up and confess in my prayers for so long. Because I was embarrassed. Ashamed. Until yesterday. After relapsing again, I confessed. 11pm at night, praying to God to give me guidance and forgiveness. I need to defeat this temptation. All of it. I need to win every single battle from now on. The reason why I didn't say will instead of need is because I lost my confidence in myself. I don't know how I'm going to overcome lust, especially at a young age, but I know that one day I will. One way or another, I'll find a way to change my lifestyle for the better. This year has been tough, yet absolutely amazing and full of blessings. So I'm going to keep building my relationship with God and improve my faith while I use his guidance and almighty power against the devil's temptations. To my future self, if you're reading this, I hope you are living the best, most stoic and happy and fulfilling lifestyle that we always have dreamed of. I hope our connection with God is closer than ever, as well as family and friends. I hope that you continue to fight your demons and win these battles, whatever you're dealing with. I hope that one day, you'll find peace within all the hard work we've been going through in this game called life. It will all be worth it. It's been nice writing this. Exactly what I needed to start gaining momentum again. I am forever grateful for this life and the next. I never thought I would put that shit publicly, but yeah, there, it, there it goes. It's out there now. The next entry I'm going to read is from August 21st, 2023. Wasn't the best day today. Felt like shit. I don't know why. Been like this since morning. Maybe it's the presentation on Thursday, or the assignments I got due, or the declining business, or all of it. 
Mizushi is actually going downhill in terms of finances. Our money is now on that much money after spending on ads, new camera, new gimbal, and new website. I generally don't know what to do. I'm starting to hate going to uni. Useless ass studies. Useless work. Weird people. I don't know. I hate being that guy who hates, but I just want to talk shit. We've been trying to use our money to make more money, but it's not working. We thought more ads would help us scale, but Meta and Google aren't doing shit. Maybe we're not spending enough. I don't know. We were doing better organically anyways. I don't know. Uni feels like a slightly better version of school, and I'm spending so much time on my uni studies, even though I know it's completely useless. In 10 years, this shit won't even matter in the slightest bit. Everything's a scam. It was hard trying to get myself to relax. Nothing is wrong. I just woke up all negative all of a sudden. WTF. I hate days like this, but it feels like I've been going on a downward trajectory since June. I keep writing about it in journals, but it's become such a mess. Sticky situation after sticky situation. Maybe I'm impatient. Maybe we have to go through this phase in business for future success. Maybe this isn't the way I'm supposed to go. I don't know. Completely lost. I've been trying to come up with my next business plan and finally started on a potential book YouTube channel. <laughs> and today at the factory, me and my friend were coming up with our next business too. First, we set a modeling agency for Sydney's Asian community. <laughs> <laughs> then that turned into an Asian cultured comedy YouTube channel, like Sidemen or Beta Squad or combined with Jubilee. Maybe I'm just impatient. <laughs> but seeing our business bank account is almost down 50% from last month, <laughs> really compresses my mentality. <laughs> I just feel like screaming really loud on the top of my lungs in the woods. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't want to be that guy going day by day thinking that everything's okay, roses and daisies, sunshine and rainbows, when it's really not. I've been literally stuck in the same place for months. <laughs> Sucked in! Trapped in a shitty business, in a shitty uni, with no effing friends, and no change in my personality or mindset after reading all these stupid books. That was nice to write down though. Journaling ain't gay after all. <laughs> Praying and being closer to God helps a lot too. Really calms me down and makes me feel at peace. But seriously, I gotta stop pretending everything's okay in life. It's not. Business is going bad. Uni's becoming more shit. Being lonely sucks. Really sucks. But that's what I gotta go through. It's my duty. I chose this road for myself and I signed a contract deal when I started this journey to success. The things that really matter the most in life, at the end of the day, number one is God, number two is family, number three is freedom, number four is future. 21st of August 2023, watch me. I'm going to prove to not only everyone but myself that the power of faith God and self-belief will get me to unimaginable places. Okay, that was another tough one. Before I read my final entry, I'm going to show you my uh, productivity logs that I write down every single month. This is what it looks like. This is for August of 2023. And what else? There's one for October, I think, which is in my other book. I'll show you. This is what it looks like. Every single day of every single month, I record the tasks that I do. And it's a great way for me to stay accountable and productive each month. If you're watching this, chances are you're either creating content for your personal brand or building your online e-commerce brand. Regardless, I know you and I have the exact same goal to grow on social media. This is why I created Creative Entrepreneurs. It's a welcoming group built for content creators and brand owners to be able to interact, share and chat with people who have the same objective. Together, our free community operates as a fun and collective mastermind. Alrighty, to join the community, here's what you need to do. Go to school.com slash creative and click on the yellow join group button under the community bio. Next, select one of the multiple choice options based on who you are. Are you a content creator? Do you run a business? Are you both? Or are you yet to decide? And finally, type in your email address in the text box. And don't worry, I'm not going to spam your inbox. The final entry that I'm going to read out is from November 29th, 2023. 
So in this period of time, I was finishing up my monk mode period, which is a 30 day period where I go all in on my side hustle and just work as hard as I possibly can every single day for 30 days. November 29th was the second last day of my monk mode period. This is what I had to say. Second last day of this huge, tough period slash month of pure focus, productivity, and zero distractions. Monk mode. What a month. I learned a lot about myself and what I can truly do when I take action, use my full potential, and believe in myself. I wrote down the rules. The do's and don'ts. No Instagram, no Twitter, no porn, no fap, no nut, no Netflix, and no snacks and junk food. And I replaced them with the daily habits that I was already doing often. Meditating, training, diet, business work, studying, reading books, and the Bible. Started off with plenty of university revision and studying for my final exams, which was the day after. The next few days were the same, studying slash business work until all my exams were finished. And I survived, barely struggled, proud to finally complete my first uni semester. Now the real work began. Hustle season, I said. At this point, I was so excited to get started on my new podcast idea, Elevate. From then on, I spent hours a day writing, planning, and writing, testing the cameras and microphones that I bought and even started practicing my speaking skills with a British modern, <laughs> modern RP accent. I also read for an hour every day until I, start, until I finished three books this month, Art of War, Psycho-Cybernetics audiobook, and $100 million Offers, my new favorite business book next to Millionaire Fast Lane. Very, very useful book that I'm still implementing now should have bought it sooner. I've also managed to fit in some time every day studying business, on YouTube and on the internet. Almost 30 pages of notes and material about podcasting, persuasive language and speaking, motivational speaking and YouTube thumbnails. Training to get back in shape, especially the first week back from a holiday full of snacks and good food with no exercise and a fat belly, was a big fat pain. And then, on the filming day for Elevate, I decided to try intermittent fasting which is essentially no breakfast or morning meals until the afternoon, which apparently raises focus levels up, so I tried it, multiple times. And it's true, a real good way to unlock your inner drive and animalistic hunger, turning that energy into focus and flow state. We pumped out three episodes that day, two of which were later scrapped because they ended up being shit. During the last 10 days, I did lots of editing, reading, studying, and again, writing. If there's one thing that I've developed the skill during this monk mode, it was definitely writing. A very important skill needed in business. And I actually enjoy it. In the final week, I came up with my next business idea. Can't wait to bring this to life. And here we are today. I gotta say, overall, this monk mode period changed my life. Changed the way I see habits, the way I see my desires. Now it's easy for me to avoid snacks or porn or girls, although I still get poured into these things which I do need to change and replace with new habits next month because I don't want to go back to when I was down and helpless. Anyways, thank you God for guiding me through this month. It's been fun and tough. Until next time, monk mode. So this was just a little sneak peek at what my life was like. So now you know what I know. Writing in a journal has helped a lonely, sensitive and insecure kid go through life day by day. So I reckon it's not weird at all. Because all of these pages of reflecting my highest highs and lowest lows were 100% worth my time. And I hope that you, the person watching this, feels inspired to start your own journey today.